In Ivory Coast, an artist has turned discarded flip-flops from the beach into masterpieces. He carves rubber soles to turn them into valuable portraits and abstract art. More details in this report. As Aristide Kwame combed the beach, dragging the trash bag of waterlogged flip-flops, many thought of him as either a desperate trader or a madman. Little did they know that he would be converting them into stunning artworks as valuable as a thousand dollars. His unique methods have garnished wide acclaim and his art has hung in galleries throughout West Africa and parts of Europe. When I go pick up the waste, there are a lot of questions, such as what will I do with all this? Will you sell the flip-flops? I simply respond that I'm an artist, and by picking up the waste, I'm removing this burden on nature. I'm removing something that disturbs the beach, because I don't like to see it dirty. Kwame's work range from large portraits of civil rights leaders to abstracts evoking societal ills, like climate change, COVID-19 and wealth inequality. All are made from old shoes that he finds floating in the ocean. This work is about COVID-19 because that's what dominates the news these days. As an artist, I consider myself a witness of my time. That's why I produced this work not only to show that this is a dangerous disease, but also to be an additional push in the fight against it. Plastic waste can be found strewn across many of West Africa's urban beaches. According to the United Nations, around 13 million tons of plastic waste are dumped into the world's oceans each year.